It's tricky to vlog on time to vlog on time. All right, that's why it's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Tr I was trying to think of a cool way to open this vlog and that's all I could come up with, so. Yeah, that sort of works. Okay, so before we, I did it, I did it again, I do the, okay, so I gotta stop doing that. For context, and I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog because I caught myself doing it again. Nearly every time I start a vlog scene, I sigh and say, okay, and so. I edit it out most of the time, but I'm just gonna catch myself now to stop the habit because it's just getting out of control. Before I get to today's vlog activity, this is the last chance I have to share with Sydney people watching this video. I'm gonna be in Sydney next Wednesday. I think it's the 9th of October. I'll put the details in the description. Uh, and if you are available to come, I have 30 invites that I can give away to an invite only exclusive creatives and tech enthusiast based event uh, hosted by ASUS, which I'm on a panel for. I'm hanging out with a bunch of other YouTubers and people there and hopefully you. So if you're Sydney based, you can apply via the instructions in the description. Basically tweet me, use a hashtag, try and show me you're from Sydney if you can. Uh, and uh, my PA will contact people who have applied and find the best fits for the meetup slash event thing. It's gonna be really fun. Uh, there are a limited number of people who can come and this is the very last time I'm gonna plug it. And the spots are very likely uh, filled up or filling up by the time this vlog comes out. So if you're Sydney based and you really wanna come, just make sure to tweet me ASAP because this is your last chance and I'll be there next Wednesday. So speaking of ASUS, that brings me to the theme of today's video, which I'm recording for the main channel, where I'm actually returning to an activity I did a couple of months back where I used artificial intelligence, where it was more of like a rotoscoping, uh, like, I guess a smart learning, machine learning program thing where you can recreate frames from a video and it will just reinterpret what you recreate it and put it through the footage. So I'm going to be using Hollywood footage and sort of drawing on it and reinventing it and see how much I can vandalize blockbusters, which is gonna be really fun. And the reason that has anything to do with ASUS is because I'm actually using the ZenBook Pro Duo to, uh, to do the activity and this thing is a beast. So they're the sponsor of the video that I'm recording on the main channel. And I have to say, I like I've, I've never had an experience like this in a laptop before. This is absolutely wild. As you can see, it's got two monitors. Both, by the way, are touch screen. So if I press and hold there, we get that. There you go. So you can see it's touch screen. It actually comes with a little stylus you can use as well. The thing that is coolest is the fact that you can set up your programs and layouts to spread across these screens as if it's a multi-monitor display, but you can also save presets of your favorite programs and stuff. So I have three presets that I've saved that I love. The first one is just sort of general browsing email checking and things like that. Basically like folder browsing, Spotify on the bottom and then web browsing up at the top. And I always, on all my multi-monitor displays, you can see through there, I have Firefox on the left and Chrome on the right. So I have it all set up to do that at the press of a button. And then let's say I wanna jump into editing a video, I can just press number three, which is my Premiere setup and it opens up Premiere, boom. And then that is my Premiere setup. I'll open a project and the way I have it laid out is basically I have the timeline and all of the parameters up there, but I have my Lumetri panel down there, my mixing desk down there, and it's so cool because it gets them out of the way. I use them all the time, but they're so irrelevant to have on the main display. And because it's a touch screen, I find myself like just pressing the sliders and moving them. It's really cool. The added utility, especially in Premiere when you're bringing in other assets and stuff, of having a file browser down here instead of up here or needing to sort of pop it up, you know, sort of bring it in and then go between the program and the file explorer. Whereas this is just like really minty. Oh, and then this is my, uh, this is my Photoshop setup. Boop, just like that, that's my Photoshop setup. And as you can see, the way I like to use Photoshop is actually to work in large form on the thumbnail with the art and actually have my uh, my little navigator down there. So that's always visible and that's like a way for me to see what the, the thumbnail looks like in context. Like let's say I'm working on the details and I can see what the overall thing looks like, which I'm pretty happy about. Oh, I didn't realize my hands were so red and splotchy in that video. The other thing is, as you can see, I have a browser down here and a file browser down there. So I can find like images or screen cap things in videos or whatever in the web browser or just grab files from my file browser and it's all there. It's amazing. You've probably seen stuff about this laptop around the place. By the way, this video isn't sponsored by ASUS. They're sponsored a video that I'm recording today to go on the main channel, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's really cool and I've seen a lot of reviews and there was a review by Linus Tech Tips where he said this is the direction of future laptops, mark my words, and 
I totally get it. Like, it's really interesting because uh, I, I think at, at first glance, some people might be inclined to think, oh, maybe that's some sort of gimmick or some weird, like, foldable phones thing, you know, like they're trying to do something new. But it's not, like, a just-for-show thing. This is a beast. Like, this has 32 gigs of RAM and an 8-core processor and an RTX 2060 graphics card. It's crazy. Like, this thing is the most powerful laptop I've ever owned, two 4K displays, and it's running everything like silky smooth. Anyways, I've, I've, uh, I've, I've flexed enough. <laughs> it's time to actually record the video. The video is picking up with the activity. I started playing around with this in the AI video where I <laughs> replaced a section of the cat's trailer with like a badly drawn frame. So I'm actually gonna be doing this uh, with some Hollywood blockbusters. And you guys had a bit of a play uh, and did some of this with the footage I provided you of myself. And some of them turned out really cool. Like, I mean, look at, look at this one. I think this person did like a bunch of different frames. It worked really well, but I think the most interesting and hilarious ones and the, the way I wanna go, oh, God damn you. <laughs> It's a koala. Anyway, um, are the ones where they're like really vandalized and creepy looking. And I want to do that with like some famous blockbuster movies. So for the setup in this video, I've got my front cam. Hello. And then I've got my uh, top camera, but that's not over there. That's the monitor. Hello. That's what that looks like because it's up here filming that. And then I'll do some screen capturing. And that's how the video is going to be made. <gasps> There's your behind the bloody scenes. <sighs> That scene is so bad. It just really lacks mustache. All right, Star Wars, let's get dramatic. We're, we're recreating the franchise the way it was meant to be. You ready? <laughs> wow! All right, that's, that's me for today's activity. I know this vlog probably just comes across as either like a review or I don't know, some sort of showcasing of the laptop, but that is that is what today's activity was about. Like I was making a video with a laptop, it was sponsored by ASUS, but really I do have a lot of thoughts to share on it. It is genuinely really cool. And one of the craziest things that like just having done that video is I can say that it was running After Effects, Premiere Pro, EB Synth, uh, and EB Synth was synthesizing. Uh, it had Photoshop open and also was recording two 4K screens in the background. All of that at the same time. And it didn't bat an eyelid. That's crazy. Like that is crazy. And it was running reliably. On top of all that, you have the two screen functionality and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you're, if you're interested in that sort of thing. If you're really looking for like a high power thing. I'm not required to, to share this stuff with you in the vlog, but I really am impressed with the laptop and they've been amazing to work with as a sponsor. So definitely check them out if you're interested. Uh, a question of the day, by the way, I will take from Linda Gale Lamb, who says, have fun with Inktober your way. Will you be doing anything for Huevember? You could try something like one drawing or painting per week, or maybe making them two or three color just, but what's Huevember? Can you guys let me know in the comments? Is that a thing? Is this another thing that I'm missing? Is there gonna be something for every month? <sighs> I'm just gonna feel guilty about not being able to join in every month now. Unless there's like a month name one where it's like you just make normal, like regular weekly content. I'd be good at that. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'm glad to be back vlogging again and uh, sharing the behind the scenes with you guys. And that will include the trip to Sydney next week, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'll see you later.